Hey guys, this is Eric Radvon, writer and creator of Lady Dark, and wanted to put together a quick video to talk about uh, where we are with Lady Dark issue two. So it looks like we're going to be launching our Kickstarter campaign for the second issue of Lady Dark um, August 1st. The campaign will run through the month of August. So uh, mark your calendars and, and get ready. We have a uh, pre-launch page set up so you can go there and sign up to be notified. And the more of you that do that, the, uh, the more momentum it definitely adds to the project. And what I'm really uh, hoping to earn this time is the uh, Kickstarter project we love stamp. Um, so I've, I've put some extra effort into uh, kind of create our pre-launch assets and put together a video and stuff. So I'm really hoping to get that project we love status. And that really um, puts the spotlight uh, uh, up a level on the project and uh, it's just kind of a cool badge of approval that that draws in a bigger audience for a, a comic book like ours so um yeah i just wanted to kind of share some thoughts on uh the trajectory of lady dark and, and where this series is going so i look at issue one as um you know there's there's this like jump that's made as a as a creative person from an idea to something existing in reality. It's like a birthing process really. Uh, and I think that is what Lady Dark number one achieved. Uh, so it, it made the jump from pure idea to uh, gaining a foothold in reality. And uh, that, that's the hardest jump to make, honestly. Um, you know, go, going, from, going from zero to one as it was the, the, the toughest, uh, the, the, the toughest amount of progress to make. Uh, so yeah, for me as a as the creator, I um, just feel really uh, thrilled that against um, against all odds, you know, the the, the project uh, stuck the landing, and uh, you know, kind of uh, first Kickstarter out of the gate and, and was successful, and we were able to uh, to, to get the book together. Uh, uh, and I, I look at the first issue as kind of like a pilot episode of a TV show. Um, so, you know, like, like the pilot episode, it oftentimes isn't even uh, aired to the general public. It, it's, uh, you know, it's just sort of the, uh, the, the concept, um, again, making that jump from idea to, to reality. And, you know, they were, they would be shopped around in the studio executives would, would see it and be able to gauge whether they thought it would work as a series or not. Um, and then oftentimes when, when a series, a TV show would become successful, you know, uh, like the pilot would be made available after the fact. Um, so like, I think of some of my favorite shows and those pilot episodes, like the X-Files is, is one of my favorite TV shows. Um, the pilot episode, right? you revisit it as a fan of the series and there's a lot of stuff missing. Um, a lot of the, the gloss, a lot of the uh, supporting characters maybe aren't there. Um, the way it's shot and the way it looks maybe is not established like the, the, the tone that like the, the show becomes known for. Those elements haven't evolved yet in a pilot, but what you do get is like the raw material is there. All the elements that will grow and flourish later on as the series develops, those will be in, in place in most of these, you know, successful pilots. And that's very much how I view the first issue of Lady Dark. Like, um, I think there's going to be a lot that evolves from the things that we've set up in the first issue. Um, and, and there'll be a, a, a lot of uh, new elements introduced that, that readers are going to totally love. Um, and so, you know, that that's kind of the energy that, feeds into issue two. Um, issue two takes this, this really great foundation that we're so fortunate to have uh, established in, in issue one. And, um, and we, we waste no time really building upon that. So I think in terms of uh, action, scale, execution, uh, kind of structure on my part, uh, it, it, it really shifts into, into high gear. Uh, so uh, I'm extremely proud of, of the work being done in issue two uh, across the board by the entire team. And uh, as of today, 
uh, we're on the last pages already. So th this is a huge difference, right, between the experience of issue one, where um, it took a long time to come together. Uh, you know, we, we got the book out, hundreds and hundreds of copies of issue one in the midst of uh, some pretty crazy logistical supply chain things like paper shortages and shipping backups and inflationary cost adjustments and all this stuff. Um, so I'm, I, I mark it all as a huge success uh, for issue one. Um, and, and the feedback that we've been getting from readers all around the world has been overwhelmingly positive, which is super cool. Again, it's like, it's like making that huge leap across this canyon from from non-existence to existence, and we got our we got our hands in, and we got a foothold, and now we now we climb up uh, up to the top of the mountain, and so that that's the journey that that accelerates with issue two. Um, but yeah, one of the things that was really chief of mind as sort of a, a lesson learned from from the issue one experience was to really tighten up that production timeline so that we were ahead of the game. Um, so uh, again, the issue two Kickstarter launches August 1st and the, the issue uh, will in essence be done um, before the campaign even wraps up. So like the timeline for issue two will be campaign runs August 1st through August 30th. Um, we tally up the amount, you know, if we're successful, hopefully we're successful, we meet uh, the amount we're looking for and we tally up the numbers that we need, we send it to the printer, it's printed. And, you know, ideally we would be looking at like maybe a two to three month window between campaign wrapping up and books landing um, in the mailbox of backers. So that's that's a huge change from, from the dynamics we had um, with issue one, where, you know, it was a lot of figuring out the logistics, finding a printer, um, setting up all the mechanisms to to handle shipping, receiving. So all of that's in place now. So again, we've got a, an awesome foundation that we're able to build off of. But yeah, it's um, it's been an immensely rewarding experience. Um, you know, again, like getting that, uh, getting the just the existence of Lady Dark carved out in this crazy pop culture uh, mind share battlefield. Um, getting our, our little corner of that established and now now growing um, the, the momentum swing there from from issue one to issue two is so great and uh, you know being able to outline out the remainder of the series I'm really looking at my total vision right now is 12 issues um, the first the first arc it's about five issues long um, so uh, you know we've got that um, core story that really sets things up and then and then i've got some some great ideas uh where to take laura in the cast and um, up to up to issue 12. Um, i'm on the hunt for a publishing partner the reaction to lady dark has been so fantastic there's fans uh, all over the world that are like literally clamoring for more uh, so that that's why it really kind of uh, didn't really didn't really uh, even take a beat after issue one, just sort of roll the momentum straight away into issue two. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I feel as though having a publishing partner will help amplify the reach even more um, and, and connect uh, this, this series across the board. So, you know, let me know what, what are some of your favorite publishers and, and, uh, and you know, where are some of the books that you're reading? I, I know I have some some publishers in mind where I would love to see that logo uh, emblazoned on on the Lady Dark covers. Um, it's really tough though. Super brutal landscape out there in the publishing world where you, know, you can uh, you can be highly successful in all kinds of other avenues. And when it comes to publishing, like even breaking into some of the lowest of the low tier publishers, it's like uh, <laughs> it, 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 it makes me laugh because it's like so absurdly uh, difficult. Uh, also part of it too is like some of these, some of these lower end publishers look at the dynamics of it. And for me, I've been left a little wanting in the sense that I feel like with the, uh, the benefit of Kickstarter and, and, and this built-in audience of 
have absolute freedom to tell the story we want to tell in the way we want to tell it. And, and the proof is there that there is readership for it. Um, so it's, it's like, I wouldn't want to sacrifice much of that uh, just for additional reach. I, I mean, I think we can cultivate and grow the audience organically. However, I think there are tons of publishers out there that um, are, are super supportive and, and just like a really good fit for a, a property like this. And I think that publisher is out there for Lady Dark. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm working those channels uh, currently. And, and the idea there would be, it, it would be fantastic to, uh, to have uh, our fans be able to go into their local comic book store and subscribe to Lady Dark, add it to their pull list, uh, and to, to, to spread the, you know, the word of mouth of it, introduce the series to their other comic book reading friends. Um, you know, I, I love uh, the comic book retailing community, uh, but there's only so much I can do on my own uh, while, uh, you know, maintaining a family and a full-time job and a life and everything else. You know, it's like I'm squeezing this in on the very limited margins as is. So having a, a true publishing partner um, where I think we would both get joint success out of this would be, um, ideal. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that maybe something will fall into place there in the, in the not too distant future. Um, but yeah, again, Lady Dark number two, building off the amazing foundation that we were able to establish with the first issue. And um, we are closing out production on the core pages already, which is great. And you know, the, book, the book will be done, uh, you know, by the end of summer. And uh, our campaign will be launching August 1st. Please, uh, please support, please share, um, you know, just a, an additional share on Facebook or an additional retweet or something can have such a huge benefit to a, a very small project like ours. Um, and, and it's uh, very much appreciated. Also, if you're on Facebook, we have our Lady Dark Fan Facebook group, which has been super awesome to see that grow and come together. Uh, you can join us there. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter, I'm at Radvon. And also on Instagram, I'm at Eric Radvon. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks again for your support. I'm super excited to share with you uh, the amazing uh, evolution of Lady Dark that we see happen very rapidly in issue two. Uh, we'll talk soon. Again, pre-register for Lady Dark number two notifications on our pre-launch page. And we will... Uh, We'll see you soon. Take care.